Hey everyone, it's Ed from Ed's Junk. This is another Ed Shop vlog. Today I'm going to uh, be casting um, a prop. Uh, I'm not too sure if you guys remember the movie from 1997 with Robin Williams, Flubber. Um, in this movie, uh, Robin Williams is the Professor Brainerd. He made uh, <clears throat> basically a green, goopy guy named Flubber, which he kind of, you know, had this shape. Uh, it was a pretty cool movie. I loved it as a kid. I um, actually recently made um, a Weibo from the movie too. This is a flying um, assistant from that movie. Um, there's actually a lot of videos on my channel about Weibo. So now I want to have a flubber to go along with my Weibo. Um, I designed this and actually did this flubber a few months ago. And uh, But now I'm going to show you guys the progress. And let's, I'm going to actually cast one today, um, polished up, and hopefully have a cool display. So guys, check out the video. Well, I was recently given the opportunity to go to San Francisco and meet Adam Savage from Mythbusters and Tested.com and uh, we collaborated and I made um, an animatronic Weibo for him. Uh, you can see here in this video I fully motorized it, um, designed it to uh, simulate what it looked like in the actual Flubber movie if we had a realistic one that you could display at home. I always loved Weibo and I thought it was a blast and a really cool video to do. At the end of, end of the video though, I kind of surprised Adam and um, I made a replica <laughs> flubber to no kind of go way. along with the display of Weibo. And what I did is I basically 3D printed uh, a flubber, um, cleaned it up a lot, and then I actually did my first uh, mold, a uh, silicone mold of an item, and then um, basically took that and then casted it and then uh, gave it to him. Uh, in turn, for doing the Weibo, he actually gave me this one here, which is a screen used Weibo. This is actually a prop from the movie that Adam himself uh, built. Um, and vacuum form painted for the movie Flubber. Um, love that he gave this to me, and uh, it, it's probably displayed in my theater. That being said, I kind of want my own Flubber as well to kind of go along with it. Um, so I'm going to cast, make a second cast out of the mold that I made for um, that Flubber, and show you guys how I did that. So it all started from basically uh, a 3D print. I 3D printed this flubber, which that file is available in the links below, guys, in the comments. Uh, sorry, in the, in the description of the video, if you guys want to print your own out. Um, it isn't the most perfect print. There's a lot of holes and lines in it. I was, I'm pretty decent at making um, 3D files that are, has like, I don't know how to explain it, uh, that are very mechanical or basic, but doing like something like this that I feel is more organic is hard for me to, to make 3D. I'm just not good at it yet. So when I pulled this out, you guys will see all the polygons and some stuff that was messed up in it. Um, for me to get around that, for my prop, um, I filled it all in with some filler Bondo uh, and then cleaned the whole thing up to end up with this uh, flubber prop. Um, but this isn't what I wanted. Flubber's clear, so that didn't work out. And also I wanted to make more than one. Um, so I casted this um, using silicone and I got this mold. Um, basically it's a two part, uh, basically it'd be a two half mold, two part mold. Um, I messed it up though and didn't put enough silicone release in it. So it ended up becoming just one a single mold that I had to actually cut out to pull uh, flubber out of it. But we're gonna take this mold today um, and I'm going to cast a second flubber and make a little display stand for him so it'll go along with my Weibo. Alright, so what I'm going to cast it with is this Alum Alumalite Water Clear um, casting urethane. It's a 72D. Uh, Aluminite makes it um, part A, part B. It's um, of equal house. Put them together and it'll harden up into a clear uh, resin. Um, looks awesome. Uh, it worked really well um, for the, one, the first one I made for Adam. Um, and hopefully it'll be a little better this time. So let's go ahead and uh, get our mold ready to uh, cast, and then we'll mix this stuff up along with some green dye, uh, and hopefully cast a flubber. All right, so we have this zip tied up. Uh, I say we go ahead and uh, we're gonna mix the resin and get it poured in here. I'm gonna use this sheet here to kind of keep myself from making an absolute tremendous mess of my bench. Um, so put that here, put it off to the side for now. Like I said, I'm using this Aluminite water clear uh, two-part uh, resin. Um, I am not a mold maker or uh, caster by any means. I've only done this once before. So we're going to give this another shot. Hopefully it all goes well. This is a 50-50 mix, so um, 
I'm just going to basically dump both of these into this uh, mixing jar here um, and see what we get. Uh, it's going to come out clear. So I have this dye, this Casting Craft resin dye of green. Uh, it might take all of it to get it to the green I'm looking for for flubber. So let's go ahead and pour this stuff out. So let's go ahead and pour our part A and part B into the mixing container along with our dye, get the color we want, and then pour it into the mold. Hopefully this goes well. It's a lot of it. We want to get that in there with our dye. Let's see what we got here. I should have probably looked at the working time on this because I'm not 100% sure how much time I got, but we're going to go quick with it. That does look pretty good. I think I want a little more green though. It's going to be a little more because the arms are pretty thin and I want to make sure it's nice and nice and green. I think I'm gonna go with that right there. All right. So this stuff makes a mess. So we're gonna attempt to pour this. Hopefully this goes well. All right, I'm gonna let this sit and cure and then uh, we'll take a look at it. All right, so while we're waiting for that resin to cure, I'm gonna come over to the laser cutter and we're gonna go ahead and cut out the uh, display box stand that I made for Weibo. Um, when I did Adams, I designed it so it would obviously be a cool display piece. It would say flubber on it and also light up because it lighting up kind of really get, it really makes it feel real. Um, it just gives that, it just illuminates it just feels right. I didn't know when I put a flashlight on, on it when I made it originally, it looked great. So we're going to go ahead and cut the box here on the laser um, and then start assembling it for the final product. But let's pull Flubber out of the mold been about two hours and see how it looks. Um, our reservoir is hard, rock solid, um, so that's a good indication that flubber is getting done, as you can see here. Um, it's the nice clear green. Well, hopefully flubber is the same. Last time I did this, it didn't come out just great. It's probably because the silicone was flexing a little bit when I was doing it, and it had a really, really rough surface. I'm hoping that's not the case, and if it is, we'll take care of it. So let's get to opening up flubber. Yum. Yeah, these side pieces are nice and goopy. What's nice is I can easily make more. They're just laser cut acrylics. I'm gonna, I saw my scraps. I'm gonna toss those. If I was making more of these right now, maybe I'd hold on to them, but for now, it really doesn't matter. Um, this resin cures when it's the thicker it is, because the thicker it is, it gets a bigger chemical reaction, it gets really warm, like he's really warm right now. Um, so it's like this thin stuff that doesn't seem like it's actually dries because, it's because it is thin. So let's open this mold up. And I did the same thing. Let's pull them out. Alrighty. Get this scoop out of here. Yeah, 
And there's Flubber. Um, it's decent. It's not that great. As you can see, it's really kind of nasty. The, um, so what I'm going to end up doing is sanding him down um, to clean him up a lot. I'm hoping, it looks like his head had some air bubbles in it, which really blows. Um, but I'm hoping we can basically just sand it, sand it to a smooth finish and then um, go from there. So let's, uh, I'm going to get to sanding him up and then uh, we'll see how he looks. All right, I just finished sanding Flubber. He's looking pretty good. Uh, he could be a little better, but what's great is what we're gonna do is when we spray clear coat on this, sorry, clear coat, it's gonna actually like make him very glossy and very clear. I use this Rust-Oleum 2X Painter's Gloss Clear. I'm sure any kind of gloss clear coat would work just fine. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and stick it in the box and then get to painting. It should really brighten him up. All right, here we go. All right, so we got Flubber painted up. Uh, he's got the clear coat on him. Um, looking pretty nice and clear. Uh, he's got this nice shine to him. It almost looks like if he's real, but he's still a little dark. So what we're gonna do is like, that's what that flashlight we made for the base. And when we turn this flashlight on, let's go ahead and turn that light on the LED light. And then when he sits behind it, I mean, look at that glow. It looks a lot brighter in the video than it actually is, um, but it's exactly what I was hoping to see. So, what I'm gonna do now, to return this off, I need to get this piece here, which is the, the little pin, remember at the bottom of our other flubber here, we have these two. At the bottom of him, I kinda had this pin, this is what, how I mount him. And that's how it came out in the, uh, the mold. So what I'm gonna do is kinda, shave this down just a little bit to get that to fit real snugly in there and then he'll stand up on his own. So let me go ahead and file this down. And this looks like it's it. There it is. All right. So he is now mounted. Let's go to this box here. And we're gonna hook up power. Let's hook up power to the Flubber's logo. I'm using just a 12 volt power supply for this. I'm gonna end up buying uh, a nice like just plug in the wall for both of these. But you can see there's Flubber lit up. And let's go ahead and turn him on too. So he lights up nice. There you have it. There is the Flubber uh, display basically to go along with the Weibo. I think it looks pretty good. It's gonna go up uh, nice in my theater. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog. Uh, check out my videos. Uh, subscribe. I am gonna be putting up a lot more videos here in the uh, future here. I'm hoping to do them once a week, but maybe once every other week. Um, but yeah, guys, comment below. Let me know if there's anything I can add or take away. I appreciate it, guys. Thanks for watching.